Hello and welcome to Technical Skills YouTube channel. This is Shafaqat Ali. This is the fourth video of Chat App. So in the previous video, we have successfully created this login and registration form. So now in this video, we will perform our registration. So let's get started. First of all, we open our register activity .java and here we will initialize all our variables that we have created input fields and buttons. So first one is private Now I have initialized all our variables, I mean our input fields, buttons and text view. So now we will perform our registration. So ptn register dot set on click listener, new on click listener and here we will attempt our registration. So attempt registration. Alt insert enter and create method inside this over register activity. So now also we have to set a click listener on already have an account set on click listener new on click listener and here we have to create intent because we have to transfer from one activity to another activity. So this activity is register activity and our target activity is login activity. So start activity and pass this intent here. Okay, now we will get the data from our input field. So create here string input, sorry it's email, so input email dot get edit text dot get text okay now duplicate this lines and change this into password and input password again for confirm password so here input confirm password okay now we will check either our data is available in this input fields or not we will add the checks on input fields so here we'll check if email dot is empty or email dot is contain at gmail.com we required only gmail account or whatever you want you can add any expression to filter your email account if it is not contain this one so we have to show the error or over input fields so here we will create method show error and here we will send over input email and text that we will show on that so here I will show email is not valid I type only these letters if our email is not correct so create this method here and now I simply call it field so we will show the error on this field so field dot set error and here we will pass this text so i simply change it into text okay now field dot request focus it will finally show the error okay it will set the error and it will finally show the error okay now here we will check the other conditions else if 
if password dot is empty r password dot length less than six digits i think it's five digit is better okay now again we call method show error and this time i will send input password because we will show the error on password and the message that we will show on this input field is password must be greater than five letters and now check else if if password dot is equal if password is equal to over sorry it's confirm password it's confirm password equal to password then it's done otherwise we have to show the error so i will change it into opposite so if password is not equal to that first password so so we will show the error so this time we will show the error input confirm password and the message that we will show here password did not match okay in the else condition we will start our registration so here we will perform our registration so first we will create the reference firebase auth m auth Okay, now we will create the instance of this auth equal to firebase auth dot get instance. And also we will show a progress dialog. So progress dialog m loading bar. to new progress dialog and simply pass this context here okay now here we will initialize our progress bar so m loading bar dot set title so here i will show registration m loading bar dot Please wait while check your credentials, whatever you want to add. Okay, I'm loading bar dot set touch cancel outside and here we will pass to sorry false. So I'm loading bar dot simply here we will show. Okay, now our progress dialog will show so we will perform our registration so m auth dot create user with email and password so here we will simply pass email and password so dot add on complete listener new on complete listener okay now here we will check if task dot is successful mean over registration is successful then we simply redirect from this registration to our setup activity so intent intent equal to new intent this activity is our registration registered activity and the target activity is over setup activity so here we will create our setup activity 
and pre-activity and select here setup activity Okay, intent dot set flags. So here we will simply pass intent dot clear task and intent dot new task. Okay, start activity and pass this intent here, and finally we will finish this activity. Okay, now we will one more thing that we will show here. We can show a toast message registration is successful. And also we will dismiss over M loading bar. So M loading bar dot dismiss. Okay, here we will show these to line in else condition if over registration is failed here we can say registration fail also we will show remove this m loading bar okay so now go to our browser and set up our chat app because we have to give the permissions of the authentication so open our authentication ok now click on setup sign in method ok now select email and password enable enable and click on save okay now let's change our manifest intent because we have to test over registered activity okay now run the application Okay, our registered activity is open. So let's type my email. Okay, add password. I type five digits and click on register. Here you can see showing error. So let's type six and click on register. Yeah. Registration is started. So let's see what happened. Yeah, our registration is done and our setup activity is open. So let's check in our browser. Here you can see our email address is available. So our registration is completed. So in the next video, we will learn how we can log in over user. So see you next video. Take care. Bye.